Game audio is there just low. Yeah, I turned it down because it was very, very loud. Your character can move left and right on the field. Oh, okay, here we go. The command box on the bottom left displays your interactive options with the environment around you. The command box on the right, bottom right displays the inventory, bio, codex, and map options. Hey, Sunslayer. We will check this out together. Don't worry about it. The inventory displays the items your team is carrying. Map displays your current location and destination. Bio displays your team member's stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics. All right. So I was told this game is a lot like Darkest Dungeon and FTL, but with more visual novel narrative stuff going on in it. So uh, naturally I was intrigued. A door. Is it locked? Open it already. Keep your guard up. Interaction icons represent a ver variety of ways you can engage with the environment around you. Red X on the interaction icons means you can neither access the area nor engage with the object. You'll need to hold the interact budget button to complete your action with certain objects. So if we go to the door. Okay. So the X means we cannot interact with that. Very good. I found something. Looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, here goes. I can't open it. What? All mother help me. It's a miracle I survived this long in the company of fools. Just press and hold the button indicated in the tutorial graphic and voila. Usually a good idea to have someone with high slight stat on your team to do the dirty work. Can I switch between characters? Oh, that's how you see that stuff. This is the bio. Wait, you can choose between the characters in your team. Use formation button to change the arrangement. You may need to dismiss a party member to recruit new comrades. Okay. want to be her containers like this may hold valuable loot a high slight will uh, lead to better chances of finding loot chest will be opened by the party member with the highest slight scavengers with low may have difficulty opening chest will often find less loot okay I'm guessing hers is the highest set so Sarge is seven, Wedge is one, one, yeah. Move aside and leave it to me. I mean, I guess we'll just take all of this, right? The chests here are different from the one back in Nadina. Forget the chest. Try checking your inventory and character bios as indicated at the bottom right corner of the screen. Bottom right, so down. This is your team's inventory. The skull icon represents Hellion, the currency used to buy and sell items. The scale icon represents capacity, indicates how much your team can carry before suffering overweight debuff. Okay. Each section of your inventory categorizes items by the same type. Most items can be sold to merchants or removed from your inventory, however, quest items will remain with you. Relics represented by the diamond icon may be equipped to improve stats or upgrade skills. Some quest items may also be equipped. Okay. A little too quiet here. It's 
freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? You forget to bring the Geistometer again? <laughs> Should keep going. No use going back all the way if we we came, if they are. They put for too long, they'll catch up. Remember, if your health or vigor drops to zero, we'll be the one spook in this place. Let's go. I feel uneasy. This place gives me the creeps. So the red bar indicates the health. If it drops to zero, they die. Damage to health is usually incurred during combat. The yellow bar on the character indicates vigor. The character will also die if vigor drops to zero. Damage to vigor is usually incurred through the stress of exploration. Okay, this is the darkest dungeon stress gauge then. You gain flourish points through critical action bonuses and finishing turns during combat. Accumulating enough will activate your flourish. Okay. Um... I feel like the shield guy should be... Well, they're both technically the shield guy. He seems to have a pickaxe. I don't think she should be in front. Yeah, I think that switch was good. Infrasonic totem. You spring a trap that spreads infrasonic waves causing you a strange tension. Health minus two, hand tremors. And she avoided. Be careful, this path is dangerous. Another trap. Best to have someone with high awareness stat in your team avoid them. Traps are dangerous. Your party leader or the entire team could incur damage from an activated trap. Characters with a high awareness will warn your party of imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily. Some actions have a probability of failure. When you see this green script, it means your attempt was a success. The red script means the action failed and you will incur a penalty. The gray script means you missed and the enemy has evaded your attack. Blue script means you scored a critical and your actions effects have been maximized. Okay, so what's this character's awareness? Two, four, two. We don't have great awareness. That's fine, let's go. I just saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready and think fast. Let's make sure we get home today. I'll get home today, rather. Let's smash some heads. You have encountered hostile enemies. Your team is located on the left. The enemy team is positioned on the right. Each team has four slots rising in value from the center. The team's character, the team's character HUDs have slot in icons denoted, denoting their space. The bottom bar displays turn order using the character HUD slot icons. A higher awareness gives characters an advantage in initiative. If two characters have the same awareness, the one position in front will get initiative. Okay. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. The flourish is powerful, but need to be charged by accumulating flourish points. Using guard is a useful way to defend against powerful attacks. You may even get a flourish point. You cannot use items or change relics during combat. However, you may check the map and bio for the benefit of planning your next move. Formation allows you to rearrange your team in the heat of combat. Runaway is also a good option for avoiding combat. Monster types are indicated by the icon beneath their portraits. Some skills may incur special effects based on these types. Okay. So two and then one. And then one and two on their side. Okay, let's do a, can I see what this is? Rally, a target, all target allies receive one health, inspired status. Can I read what inspired status is though? Massive true damage to one long range target. 
Let's just do a thrust, I think. Short range and mid range. Okay. And long range. Short range skills are only available while positioned in the first or second slots. Can only target enemies in the first or second slots. Mid range skills can be used in any position, but can only target enemies in the first or second slots. And long range can be used in any position and can target any enemy position. Okay. Try to take her out, I guess. Wow. All right, she crumpled. Well, fuck it. Let's try to take out, I guess, both of these fools. Eat that tutorial enemy. And we can't go through their shit, though. Oh, come on. Where's my loot? My epic loots. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this place. You're the one that insisted we come out here to begin with. By all means, continue quarreling amongst yourselves if you want to be ice pops. We have the spoils we came for, and it's colder than a witch's tit out here. I, for one, am ready to return. Hold up, guys. I see a body. It looks like... a girl. Who is it? She's not from Dalark. I don't recognize her, and no, and no other scavenging teams came up earlier either. Well, we can't help her now. Search the body. Seriously? You search her. Wait, she's still breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here. You want to bring her back? Are you mad? We have no clue who she is. She could be with the green flame for all we know. She doesn't look like one of them. We can't risk compromising Dale Ark's location. Celeste will have our heads, and what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious. Captain Lanville shall decide her fate. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. Which is tits are supposed to be hot? After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina, in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind on an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair for answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city, you like this art? I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. That seems bad. The Adventurous. Or the Adventures. Rip Daddy. Man, console load times though, am I right? Hey, it's her. 
Ugh, my head. Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. Well, that... <laughs> that, uh... That went up to 100 real quick. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Evelia... Evelia? Evelia Lyric. I'm Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you. A moment later, you'd be another piece of frozen decor gracing the streets. I must have fainted. I never felt a chill like that before. We are, unfortunately, well acquainted with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots, and I was feeling generous. Up there? So we're underground. Looks like I've got a sharp one on my hands. I took the liberty of searching your stuff. Bunch of climbing gear, a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nicolau? Nicola? Nicolau Lyric. I came here from Medina with his journal. Right, everyone knows nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of Eisner. Eisner? You mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city? Suppose for a moment I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the frost fell? That barrier around the city? I walked through it. Enough with this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only, only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're not dead. As far as I can tell, you're still sane. So let's cut through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? I mean, I don't know them. What? Green Flame. The Archonic called Hellbound on destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells, or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse? I can assure you I'm not with them. I don't just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn some Edeni decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zachard. Do you know of him? Heh, <laughs> there's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I am feeling gracious today. So, tell you what, I'm giving you tentative permission to move about Delark. Delark until I find out what to do with you, that is. Delark? Oh, that's the name of our lovely abode deep below Eisnare. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you'd best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. What's this? We call it Hellion. It's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny, and you're dead. In a cell, or right back on the surface where we found you. Are you we clear? Crystal. Instant death. That's what happened to your power. Oh, I see. I'm famished. Is there anything to eat down here? You can run while you're in Dale Arc. This is the Codex Illuminus. It's separated into two sections, the Codex and Journal. Change books to view the journal. It contains details on your current mission and goal. You can choose from completed and working mission sections. Okay, so how do you run? R2. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, all we can go is up. The captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. Goodbye. How to keep your body warm. Step one, make a fire. Step two, stand in front of the fire. Step three, be warm. Hmm. Keep your distance from her. You're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. I can't place her, but for some reason she looks so familiar. Oh, hello. The frost wind howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. Right. What? I don't understand. Be warm. <laughs> exactly. Your paperwork is done. Scram before we change our mind. 
but I want to talk with the booby lady. Keep your distance from her lest you get hexed. The witch knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the tiny little... The tiny little... uh Oh my god, what's her name? Lyric girl. Ah! Alright. Guess we'll go here. Guessing that means this is a shop. Oh, the market. A foxier market. Halt, you're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself, good sir. Oh no. Fox people. <laughs> this is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl, eh? You tricky bastard. I still need to check her papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. All right, all right. Go on. Who is this smooth talker? What a gorgeous... What gorgeous eyes the lady has. Mahoram, a relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but that... Isn't that just a fancy way to say you're a thief of antiquities? You have fed my sensibilities with such barbed words. I am merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name is Lyric. Why did you help me, anyway? I have a quick ear, milady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander and familiar with our strange ways. Ah, forgive me. You must be famished. Allow me to take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. Come then, follow me. Hello, Yasol. It's a little hard to read the television from here. This is Lyric, my dear friend since today. He's gawking at me. Yasol, huh? That's a pretty name. How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, my lady. Don't you have any hellion? Hellion? The fox here traditionally burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice for spooks. You mean this, right? Lanville gave me some. Great. Shall we make a deal? Anything in particular you're looking for? Uh, Dale Arts survivors and sober wraiths conduct trade using a paper currency called Hellion. You'll need to scavenge and sell supplies you found in the field to earn more. Switch between the shop wares, your inventory to buy and sell items. Merchantry represents your ability to negotiate with merchants. Okay, that makes sense. So I have 500. It might be worth my while to get something here, you know? Can I see, like, what I have on? Stop right there. Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Dale Arc? What are you doing out of prison? Mayhaps there's a misunder- Shut your mouth, Mahorum. Guards arrest her. What? I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell. Last, right? Lanville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we could interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I understand everyone's suspicions, but I already told Anvil I have no connection to them. Am I to believe you just waltzed into Ice Nair? Ridiculous. The frost fell surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wretched gift that keeps giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all this? 
You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. What if Lan? What if what Lanville said is true? I'm the first person to enter this city in a year. Nobody outside has the slightest clue of what's happening here. Want to know what really happened? We're we were the fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and drifters is as old as the city itself. We never imagined Eisner would devolve into total chaos. The green flame has been here, stroking tensions for months, if not years. When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it. But I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now? That's convenient. Maybe Lanville believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad, you're marching right back into that prison cell and you're going to learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Dale Arc. What? How is that possible? It's at the ascending room, please come. Just my luck. Don't think this changes anything, you're coming with me. Could the rumors of the mad wraiths in Eisner be true? Dun dun dun. Everybody, stand back. That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. It's a butcher spook. Warg. Watch out. <laughs> Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, appears some spooks, spooks hitched a ride to Dale Ark in the ascending room. Who was on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as to how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I, uh, sir, we shouldn't jump into any conclusions. Nonsense. Get these men to the Silvani Healing Hall to be discreet and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause unnecessary panic. And post some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet me in the war room at the Guardian's barracks. There's someone who would like to have a word with you. Yes, we'll find that's probably here. Welcome to the headquarters of the Alliance Guardians. Our mission is to maintain order in Dale Arc until we discover the solution to this crisis. Very good. What's this say? Oh. You found a page of the Codex. Dope. Let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. It looks like I'm the least of your worries around here. I don't know how you got through the Frostfell, but my gut is telling me something is off. You may be in Lanville's good graces, but respect is earned in my books. Good, that makes both of us. I got my eyes on you. I don't think Celeste likes me. We have brokered a tenuous truce between the Crown Loyalists and the Drifters. This place feels like it's about to explode. Captain Esquire once saved my life during a surface mission. I owe him a huge debt of gratitude and would gladly pledge myself to his service. Captain is fiercely loyal to his soldiers. You won't find a more honorable man walking in the Five Realms. The chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zachard, Zachard Ventru. Ventru, I guess. It is strictly off limits. Isn't that the person we're looking for? I guess I missed something because there's nothing up there. Maybe in here? Huh. 
I found a page of the codex. <laughs> I found a page of the codex. Uh -huh. Another page of the codex. Why can't I go through there? The door is like open a crack. Landville said you'd come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. Okay. This is a city map. Looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people of the city. A new frost fence has cut off access to the supplies we need of the Ghost Bazaar. The situation is dire, so we're trying to keep this under wraps. The last thing we need is panic. We'll have to consult Balthazar to find another route through. He always manages to find something. Oh, hello. I don't know how it happened, sir, but we're making every effort. Lyric, glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zachard Ventru. Zachard, I set out in search for you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please excuse me. My apologies for interrupting. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. <laughs> okay. Of course he would be anime, dude, right? Of course. Look at this guy. Please, call me Zachard. The captain just informed me of your unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short. We have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left Dale Ark. She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Dale Ark, putting many lives at risk. I saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Do you remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise Dale Ark's location. If that happens, nothing will save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried. We're unable to follow through the frost fence, though. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence? There are smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as a frost fell. The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice nair. They, too, are deadly to the touch. But that wouldn't be an issue for you, would it, Lyric? Huh? It's true. I walked through the Frostfell. I could do so with the power of the Zvambrace, but you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come into the possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This Vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. Okay, that voice is actually hurting my throat, which is why it's getting worse as it goes on. <clears throat> Your father happened to be the esteemed Dr. Nicola Lyric. One and the same. How could you possibly know that? He is a renowned scholar, and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I'm well versed on his works. Now before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of Archonic design. Even I can connect the dots. You recognize this thing? It's called the Aether Brace. A powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then she should give it to us. We could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I've tried everything short of cutting off my arm. Lyric, you seek answers and I'm willing to help you, but our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party past the frost fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help, but when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare for deploying. Take the scroll of consent. <laughs> oh my god. Gentlemen, make sure that when you're going out with a lady, you get her scroll of consent before, you know, go in any weird place. You need a scroll of consent before anal, is what I'm trying to get at here. And tell Helga at the Lost Lady Inn I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. My scouts inform me Isabel is moving north towards the Entertainment District. We will send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. 
If you're looking for cell swords, you may have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set up, is set for your next destination. Leave it to me. And this is where I look around forever trying to find where to go. Oh, okay, we're here. You found a page of the codex. Oh, wait, I don't actually know where here is. Okay, so this room leads to this room. I see. Okay. And this will lead back to the front. Oh, God. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Over here. Uh... I'm pretty busy right now. Then I'll keep it brief. I'm Maru Han, the acting director of North Venture Company in Dalkheim. I heard a rumor Lanville was assembling an expedition to the entertainment district. Is it true? Word travels fast around here. There are a few activities to while away. There are few activities to while away the hours in Dale Arc, and the gift of gab has always been my specialty. Well, your sources were right, but the original expedition was cancelled, and I'm leading the new one myself. Then I have a special request. There's an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, Manduck, is currently in possession of it. What is this item, and who is Manduck? A golden seal called the Oxe. Oxe? Oxe? It is granted by the Asadali Emperor and confers legitimacy to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the North Venture Company in Dockheim. Banduk was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like something worth risking lives over. Risk brings reward. Fetch me the seal and I'll ensure you get the finest deals in Dalark. You'll need my help if we're planning regular expeditions to the surface. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate's already been sealed. <laughs> God damn it. I'll be seeing you around. Huh. What the fuck is that? Oh. Wow, are these? I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Grr, chugga chugga grr. Looks like a real tin man. I wonder how it works. I can't tell whether it's broken or resting. Oh my god, look at this dwarf though. Huzzah, be amazed. There are no other technical marvels like them in this world. Yeah, they're quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung, and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you met a golem? Have you ever met a golem before? Golem? Ha, I'm not surprised. The Adeni don't have the same knack for engineering we do. No offense, of course. There are a lot of complex... There's a lot of complex tech running under... Neath the hood of these tin men, inside the compartment is made out of... Well, you're quite the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Silvani hedge magic. They run on enchanted apples. Too bad Talindra won't help me anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. They can do some pretty complex tasks. Hi, tin man. How are you today? I think they understand me, but don't seem too bright. This is Lyric's cabinet. You can store items from your inventory in here. Go figure. Nothing there. Consent, poggers. I see you eyeballing my furnace. She's a real beauty, yes? It doesn't look like normal dwarven furnace. 
keen eye. I call it Sindri. I can craft anything here, ranging from golem parts to my favorite jackalope stew. I'm something of an aspiring craftsman, so I find it to be very interesting. I did not realize I was in the presence of a fellow craftsman. I'd like to see how you and Denny work with work at the bellows. Feel free to use Sindri when I'm not busy with it. Really? I'm not at your level, but that would be great. You'll have to find your own materials, though. Not enough to go around down here. Just bring what you have here, and the golems will help you. That's awesome. I will bring stuff, some stuff, time to time. Rem return for all this. I simply want to see your work. Deal? Don't make me regret it. Okay. Man. Crafting. Alright, let's go. The Eldritch Library. No time to talk. I'm in the middle of some important research. Please don't touch anything. Any Definitely gonna want to read the codex here. This guy is a real bookworm. Is there another floor here? Thought I saw. Oh, maybe not. Hey, Jester. What is up? Okay, I'm guessing this is the tavern here. Might as well go to it. The Lost Lady Inn. Then I just isn't your night, my friend. What are you talking about? Just deal the cards. Are you Helga? Oh, hello. Well, look what the snowcat dragged in. Girl thick. I heard there was a new face in town. My name is Lyric. Zachard sends his re regards. He said you could set me up with a room here. That's so. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're full up. Oh. Actually, I might have something for you, but it can hardly be called a room. You used to roughing it? I've had my share of nights without a roof over my head. Then you won't have any problems here. We have space behind the bar that's being used for storage. You can unload over there. I'm not complaining. Make yourself at home and feel free to spruce it up. Sure. Canal is fun now. Oh, the new update hit, huh? Watch your step. Wouldn't want to trip down the stairs and bust that pretty head of yours. Wow. A little rude. Hey, don't look now, but the lady in red is back again. Some say this is the one and only Charlotte Lorelei. Princess Lorelei? What's she doing in a place like this? Maybe I should make a move. Ha, like royalty would want anything to do with your flea-bitten ass. Community announcement, dearest patrons of the Lost Lady Pub and Inn. It has come to my attention that many of you have been leaving empty mugs and bottles strewn about the premises. Just because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean we have to act like beasts. Please do your part in keeping the Lost Lady clean. I sense the presence of a fellow adventurous. That's quite the sixth sense you have there. The name's Lyric. Who might you be? No offense, but I'm not looking for new friends. They always end up six feet under. That's a jaded outlook. Survive a few trips to the surface and maybe we'll have something in common. Until then, keep your guard up. Wow. Rude.
This is the spot she was talking about, I guess. She wasn't kidding. This place is a dump. Hey, you gotta take what you can get. Well, if I'm gonna stay here, I might as well clean up a bit. Oh, shit. Cleaning the hell? Oh, my God. It took all night to clean that mess. I have to admit, this place looks a lot better now. It's not half bad. It's about time to head out. I should check the recruitment board. She made this look so good. <laughs> That's a lot of work. All right. Looking at the flame relaxes me. This fireplace really brings some welcome warmth to my stay here. I never even saw. What are her stats? Oh, she's fucking garbage stats on everything. Okay. Oh my god. Different clothes! Let's put on our civvies. Fuck yeah. It has been a while since I slept in a proper bed. Looks like it's about to fall apart, but I'd rather take my chances of sleep on the cold stony ground. Let's sleep. I feel rested. This is a storage unit. A bath with running water. All right, I'm guessing this is the recruitment board. This looks like the recruitment board. Let's see if any hired hands are available. You can meet up with your new hires at the Lost Lady before going to the surface. It always helps put a name to the face. Thanks for the tip. All right. This is a recruiting board. You will find willing comrades in Dale Ark who have added their names here. Select comrades to join your expedition to the surface. There are only four candidates now, but you will unlock more allies as you progress. New applicants will appear on the recruiting board from time to time. Dragoon? Definitely want the Dragoon. Great Flourish avoids traps. Great Range spreads damage. Great at Scouting stuns enemies. Let's bring Bring this guy. All right. Once we head up, there's no going back. Let's go. All right, let's go. The ascending room is an ancient device constructed to ferry passengers from Dale Arc to various locations on the surface of Icenair. Choose your desired destination and go. Depart to the entertainment district. All right. I could freeze to death up here. Better hustle if we want to find Isabel. Camping is essential to restoring your party's health, party's health and vigor. Your party will be able to use supplies during this lull in your expedition. Make sure that you take the time to benefit from planning accordingly. You need to choose someone to oversee the camp. This person will manage supplies, security, and morale while the party is resting. It is usually a good idea to choose someone with high overwatch. 
Your chosen Overwatch can amuse the party with song and a story to restore vigor. Success is determined by the Overwatch stat. The Overwatch will guard the camp when your party chooses to rest. Sleep will restore health and success is determined by the Overwatch stat. Shadowmancers and fencers can use ravens to scout streets in your current neighborhood. Thus revealing what you can expect to encounter there. Okay. That's a lot of information to take in. Who has good overwatch? Oh, Jin Wu has super overwatch. Um, I think we're going to trade you and you. I think she should be at the back. Fuck it, let's do that. All right, here we go. Chapter two, The Merchant. I'm sorry, Zachard told me you were coming up. The people I pull half frozen from the surface usually avoid coming back up. Celeste mentioned one of her scavenging parties found me. Thanks for saving my life. I suppose I'm a glutton for punishment. You know, the green flame and fair animals aren't all you'll need to worry about up here. This is the first time I've had to deal with the possibility of camping in such conditions. A good camping spot may be the difference between life or death. Make sure your overwatch has a high stat so you can reap the benefits of resting well. It's also an opportunity to get to know your companions. Your lives are in each other's hands, after all. What should I be worried about? The spooks are naturally drawn to your presence, so you're being hunted the moment you set foot out here. Almost everything has an irrational desire to see you dead. Make sure the person leading your team can detect traps. You'll have plenty to contend with between the natural obstacles, traps set by the green flame, rays, and mad survivors. Less strange things are afoot here. I'm sure you have plenty of tales from the field. You don't know the half of it. You'll see soon enough. When you encounter a strange event, consider your options carefully before making your next move. What happens next could save or be the death of your party. Okay. We call it a geistometer. It'll let you know when spooks are getting close me by measuring the ghost fog. Check its status on the bottom left corner of the screen. When ghost fog comes, you know mad shades are nearby. Oh, those are some mad shades. When that happens, make sure you leave the area as quickly as possible. Sound like a handful to contend with. Just try to come back in one piece. Okay. Okay. There is so much to... Okay, hold on. Let me pause for a moment. Oh, neat. Exactly, Mad Shades. There's so much to go through here. First of all, we need somebody who's good at detecting traps up front. So we should move him up front. Is this the frost fence? Be, be careful around that. The green flame has been putting them up around the city to block our way. That's the reason I'm here. What's the plan? I thought you knew your way around it. No, we're going through it. You can't be serious. Touching it is instant death. How do you think I got in the city to begin with? All right, everyone, step back. I've only done this once before, and honestly, I don't know what's going to happen next. Here goes nothing. It's gone. What kind of magic is this? The Vambrace protects me from Marconic magic. You could use it to help us escape the city. It seems I can destroy these smaller frost fences, but that's not the case for the frost fell surrounding Ice Snare. Okay, let's move out. Huh. My codex. My codex. Hi? Oh god. Mortals, it seems that traffic is busy in the entertainment district today. My name is Gerard. 
a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hands up where I can see them. Y you you can speak? There is no need for hostilities. I come in peace, a simple merchant of fine wares. How did you pass the frost fence? Can't trust a spook, man. That's none of your concern. We're searching for someone now. It's quite urgent. Eisner is dangerous. Place for mortals and sober rays alike. You will need allies here, but you won't get far with that attitude. But allow me to extend an olive branch. I passed a woman today. Tall, dark, and brooding she was. That sounds like our woman. Which way does she go? Aha, well, my generosity does have its limits. I would be willing to point you in the right direction for a price. What do you want? Searching for something. Nothing important. Just a small golden company seal non known as the Oxe. That's the same seal Maru is looking for. My dear, you would stand to gain much from such a deal with me. I merely seek your agreement to return the Oxe to me. You should, should you stumble upon it. It's highly unlikely I'm going to stumble upon it, but I'll let you know if we do. You need to learn a thing or two about doing business. In any case, I saw your woman. She was heading north towards the Ghost Bazaar. Coincidentally, I was heading the same way. Beware, the road there is not safe for living, and the bazaar is even more dangerous. I've heard tale of the merchant, Manduk. Terrible thing what happened. The, ter the King of Shades corrupted Manduk and turned her into a vengeful shade under his control. She was... Uh, she was once an individual of great renown. Now her corrupted spirit is maddening the minds of race in her local area. Though I do not know the full extent of the damage. We need to head out now. Maybe we'll see you at the Ghost Bazaar. Go with the All-Mother, Warmblood. Negative 10 to fucks given. You can retreat to Dale Ark at any time from the pause menu. You will keep your surviving allies in loot, but lose your expedition progress. Find reliable shelters between neighborhoods to craft and use items. Unfortunately, your team will be exposed and unable to rest here. Wait. I always said the easier way, easiest way through a lock is to just shoot the damn thing. Ha ha. Damn. Not even my wife, Ma Weefy, has the muscle to open this. My wifey. I hate when they type in accents. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. My waifu isn't strong enough. May waifu. Oh, it's a pup. Eerie dog. You find a ghostly dog blocking your path. It watches you calm with but curious eyes. Nothing about its demeanor seems threatening. Then again, who can presume to know the mind of a supernatural beast? Let's interact with it. You step closer to the dog as it continues to sit calmly. As you slowly kneel, the dog casually gets up and walks away. He guides you to a corner where you find a seed bag. Good boy. Get bag of seeds times four. Can I go this way? We can go this way. Okay, we have found a place to camp. Did 
Did I just go back around? Seed get? Another camping spot. A mimic. A fake chess springs to life and angers you. Vigor minus two. What the hell is this? Didn't I touch that damn thing? Seed get. That geistometer is going up. My aim is true. All right. What the hell are these prey? Heal self plus four health and receive inspired. Haunt. All right, let's just uh, try to take one of these dudes down quick here. Okay, one down. Yeah, I was worried about that. One of them's a fucking healer. Okay. Okay. I feel better about this now. Stupid ghost. Alright. Well, we got some stuff. Okay, we went all the way around. Okay. That's fine. That's where it came from to begin with. Each neighborhood is filled with about 10 street paths. Checking the map on the field will show which street you're on. Your team must reach the neighborhood exit to progress. Each street has at least one encounter event. You need to clear five neighborhoods to reach the boss dungeon. The map is unavailable in areas Lyric has little information about. Maybe we should camp. Uh -huh. Going to be another long cold night. Oy. 
I will bet that witch can a stop a bullet. Now that's a real easy way to put down to put an end to this drama. If I manage to stop Isabel, I may finally get the answers I've been seeking. The passage of time while sleeping will raise the geistometer five terror. Your overwatch stat will affect the resulting benefit. Will you sleep? Yes. Despite the danger of the surrounding area, your party gains much needed comfort from the campfire's warmth. Gain health equal to overwatch. Terror plus five. This vigor, right? Oh, fuck yeah. All right. I think we're done here. I must have to go up. We must have to go up this ladder here. Oh boy. Okay, cover fire, protect target ally. Any damage to target ally is reduced by five. Deal combat damage to one long range target or deal six true damage to one mid range target. Okay. Okay. They're actually not that bad to take out. gonna say Jesus how is that one not dead that one whirlwind deal four true damage to two mid-range targets oh neat i'll have to remember that Bullion chip seems pretty good. All right, so continue down this area.
Must have to go this way. Yeah, okay. Then we can go up here. Then up again somewhere. Nice. Good shot, good shot. Boom, headshot. I want to try this whirlwind attack out. Pretty cool. Crit though. There must be a way. Okay. Just need a dog in a van. Another whirlwind attack to these fools. Easy peasy. Where does it say we are on the map? Okay. Well, 
so much for having the trap detector up front. All right. You had one job, my dude. One job. Boom, headshot. All right. Start whittling these archers down. Fuck. That other attack, serrated hook, causes bleeding to one long range target. Okay. I think my dwarf is dead. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Wait. He has one health. Holy shit. Damn, I can't use that on anybody but him. Fuck it, I'll... I'll let him heal. Okay, one down. Um, he's dead. He's going to die right here. Yeah, he's dead.
kind of want him to heal again. He couldn't even open a simple chest. Yeah, I think I'd be lying if I said I would miss him. That's no good. Avoided. Can you make anything out of ectoplasm? I could make this. Bigger plus two. Bigger plus four. Awareness minus one. Camping kit. Overwatch plus one, max health plus seven. He noticed the hole in the ground. It's better than the dwarf did. This seems like a bad idea. Hospital area. We'll let her entertain. We're definitely going to sleep to restore some health. All he did was complain about his wife. And now he's dead. God damn it. Bigger minus two for all. Stay back unless you want to feel my blade. Wait, we're from Dalark. You're from Dalark too? Damn, you gave us quite the fright, Outlander. I'm the leader of this team. We've been scavenging on the surface for some time, but I do believe our luck has run dry. 
I'm sorry to hear that. What are your plans now? We could use your help to explore this area. I'm heading back after this. If you need help, these fellows might be willing to lend you their time. My crew know the real threats up here. You'll have to pony up some Hellion if you want their help. Oh, hello. Two hundred. Hedge mage. Great at healing allies in combat. Oh my god. Celest Celestine? Celestine? Great all rounder. Protects allies. All right, mage. Healing light heals target ally for plus three. That ally gains plus one health for per turn for three turns. Magic explosion deal two true damage to three long range targets. Or heal an ally for plus two health. Holy shit, we have a healer. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because <sighs> we're going to need it. We avoided it. <sighs> god damn it. There's so many traps. <laughs> What's with this cook, though? We should taunt, probably. They have a healer as well. So... We need to get her out ASAP. Nice. Okay. Let's whirlwind these two. Dwarf's death wasn't so bad. That's probably not the correct lesson to learn from this, but yes, indeed. Oh, the cook is healing himself as well. I don't understand what her deal is, but she is tanky. Damn it, that plus seven heal. Yikes, all right. Maybe we should take this guy out.
Okay. Now we can just focus on her, right? I believe. I should have done the bleed, actually. Lyric needs a heal so bad. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God. These ghosts were much more difficult, I will say. Okay. Well, I don't under don't understand what this is because it's not camp. I guess it's just a crafting area. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think we're gonna have to leave here. I don't want to lose my party members, really. They're so good. Yeah, I don't love doing that, but I really don't want to lose my knight dude and the, uh, the, uh, I can't remember her name, Jung Woo or whatever. I just don't want to lose this party. The fuck is this? Yeah, they're pretty beaten up. Curious if there's there are new people. A shadow mancer. And a blood mage. Someone forgot to label the vials. Make sure that's the right one. We can't make any mistakes. The other races have such delicate immune systems. The Silvani have a reputation for being aloof and proud, but they've provided an indispensable service in treating our wounded. Without their assistance, we would not be able to make these supply runs to the surface. Eisner was a diverse city before its fall. I've learned more than I could ever imagine taking care of the survivors now gathered in Dale Arc. 
The spooks really did a number on me. Duck, how does it look? I'm surprised you made it back here in one piece. Don't push your luck next time. When you see the ghost fog spreading, get off the streets fast. Old lady run. This is all nice for world building, but I want to see where I can like heal my dudes. I was hoping that would be here. I mean, it still might be here. Just don't know where. Maybe up here? Patriarchal culture This may be difficult for humans to understand. The Silvani have practiced this for thousands of years. We lead much longer lives than other races because of this. The collective wisdom of our people has served us well in maintaining S Sylvian peace for centuries. Matriarch Talindra has asked us to exercise patience during these trying times. I will follow her wisdom despite that. It's still difficult to turn a blind eye towards the Naziri practicing their dark arts. The power of hedge magic is undeniable, but its mastery but mastery of its secrets may take decades or even centuries. The throne was carved from Silvani ironwood. Only a Silvani matriarch may have the honor of sitting in one of these. Right. Ground floor all the way to the right. I thought I went all the way to the right. Yeah, I went all the way to the right and there's nothing to interact with here. I would have thought if anything it'd be at the beginning area. I do believe that they hang out at the tavern though. This isn't the tavern. Hey, Homer. That's the market. This is the tavern. <laughs> Trip was perilous. The All-Mother was on my side. Surviving up there will require more than the All-Mother's help. Anything else you want to know? Merchant tree. Okay. I actually do know about these. Hey there. We make do with what we have. Tell me, how did you pass the frost fell? It's a long story. How about I tell you over a pint of veil when things are a little less hectic? Feel free to walk around. Keep your wits about you. Okay. This is in the seedy part again. Why did the groups collapse? Which dungeon, Homer? I want to see if sleeping does anything. Sleeping got everybody back up. Okay. Oh, dead minds. Yeah, yeah. Why did they collapse, though? Why did everybody leave? Did you refer to it as DM rather than VC? Because that would sure make me mad. I'm going to try to be a little bit faster about moving through the city. 
think the map will be a good asset for this. Okay, so we can go straight, straight, okay. A mimic. Fucking wonderful. What a great start. Keep a wary eye. Underground door. You feel something strange under your boot as you're walking. After stopping to examine the ground, you discover a hidden cellar door leading underground. There may be some good loot in the chamber below. Oh, for fuck's sakes, of course. Let's go. Go, Abel. Light fills the dark chamber, revealing an old room filled with an assortment of old boxes and rusted tools. Among the clutter, you discover a useful set of dowsing rods. All right. What the frick do dowsing rods, rods do? Uh, awareness plus one, health max plus one. Give it to Lyric, I guess. People needing to repair gear, one person getting salty. Let's make a deal. Okay. I guess I bought that then. I really wish it had an animation showing it go into my bag or something. Rather than just a sound. Should equip our healer. Because if the healer dies, we all die. Go this way. Go through this. Always have the tank go first. Ruth. Uh, no need to set up camp. Unnatural chill. Horse for all. We avoided it. Mushroom, or hushroom spores. We avoided it. My boy's pretty good at avoiding stuff here. If only the dwarf who was whose literal job it was was to avoid shit could have done the same. Oh good a mimic. And it was avoided. <laughs> Eat shit, mimic. Street one is almost done. Street one is done. The guy's so good he can he was able to dodge cold air. That's true. I'm gonna just go to the right. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, we need to go north. 
Oh, great. Creepy spirit child. You see a ghostly girl on your path watching you intently. As you pass by, she calls, hey you. After approaching, she says, I want to know what kind of person you are, so let's play a game. Chocolate or candy? Milky chocolate. No, the answer is candy. I win. Her sly smile remains as she slowly lifts her hand and opens it. The penalty is your money. One, only Hellion, please. Before you have a chance to say anything, she vanishes in a wisp of smoke. You feel a small hand in your pocket before she reappears holding your money. Minus 30? Uh, we want to go this way. You're level 17. Noise. Want to play a game? Another mimic. Avoided. Eat shit, mimic. Aw, oh, she failed. What you get for being wrong? I suppose so. Keep a wary eye. What the fuck is this? You discover the mouth of a cave, dark and foreboding. Upon close examination, you discern, discern no sound or movement inside. There might be something of value within. Then again, who knows what lurks in shadows? Fuck that. We are not going through a cave in the middle of the street. Fuck that. Yeah, we need to go north. Uh, camp sounds good. That feeling when the party avoids all your mimics. No kidding. Man, I wish I could do more for bigger. Go, we're done here. Think of all the sweet, deadly loot. All right. And we're moving on up. That looks ghostly. That has a warmth to it, which is probably a trap. Gamer's Row. Hey, I'm a gamer. That's me. I want to go down this way. If you're a gamer, you'd know the Konami code. Um, the Konami code is... What the fuck is that? I don't even know who to attack in this mess. This one attacked me, so let's attack her. We can do this as well. 
there's no I in gamer. Okay. Nice. That bleed, though, so good. That fucker blocked the attack. Do I even have an attack with her? Deal two down. Okay, magic explosion. Magic explosion! Ah, uh, yeah. Can't spell gamer without mage. Hey, nether pearls. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so fucking lost. Okay, hold on. There we go. I really didn't want to lose my knight. Damn. All right, let's see if we can find a replacement. We could do a scoundrel. Great fighter. That fencer is looking pretty good. Over there with her 24 health. All true gamers have M rage. I want to try the blood mage. All right, let's get healed up and go back out. Teresa. Mature rage, indeed.
I hate it every time she yawns, it makes me yawn. All right, all female party, let's go. Uh, she probably shouldn't be leading the pack here. All right, let's do it. Keep a wary eye. There's that dog. Okay, we've seen this. Interact with it. It bit me. It actually bit me this time. Stupid dog. Hey, Newton. Uh, fastest way is across. Gonna ignore... Oh no, the unnatural chill. Doing okay, how are you? We'll go this way. Oh. Should be opening these though. Okay, we need to go no this is the wrong door, I think. Yeah. Wrong door. Keep a wary eye. Okay, this time I'll go in the cave. reach a chamber you find the remains of a makeshift campfire inside we got survival gear times five only good things in caves is very true okay we're done on the first area So I can make those. Why does Dwarven Brew need so much? Oh, you need the Nenny Brew as one of the ingredients. That's kind of funny. So what the hell do I need for this? The camping kit? Whatever that one thing is? Find vest. All 
All right, let's go. We have work to do. The fuck working steam pipe you find a working pipe jutted from the ground warm steam hisses from a ruptured section of the steel the fact that this ancient system still functions is a testament to the ingenu ingenuity of its original engineers upon examination you find an old valve that looks like it can control the pressure twist it you twist the valve hot air spreads around you pleasantly warming the vi general vicinity as your stress dissipates, you are reminded that the city was once renowned for its relaxing spas. Terror minus 20. Holy shit. Would have been nice if they could, like, make my vigor go back up, but whatever. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Alright, I want to see what she can do. I guess we'll heal her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He punched her in the knee. What a jerk. You hit like a girl. Okay, we want to go straight through this and this one. Definitely try to open these though. I'm annoyed because my divining rod or d divining or whatever rods actually went off and I just kind of like ignored it or something. Um, let's switch those two out. Great. My god sticks. Yeah. Definitely do this up. Neither song nor poem could lift the party's spirits in this bitter cold. Great.
Sad times at cemetery camp. Yep. Keep a wary eye. Yep. You find the withered corpse of a woman clutching a jeweled box. It looks like it, she dry, she died trying to protect the precious contents inside. Your curiosity is peaked, but it doesn't seem appropriate to you know, fuck it. Just take the box. She'll do it. Excited to see the treasure inside. After lifting the lid, a noxious gas sprays you in the face. You drop the box, swiping the air around you in vain. Debuff, befuddled. I deserve that. What gosh, I'm sure befuddled. So fastest way is to go through and then, okay. Oh, fuck. Look at all those debuffs on my characters. That's no good. I think my main character is dead. I want to see what this does. This is so fucking over. Holy shit. Yeah, I want to see what that does. Two target allies receive bloodlust status for combat plus three for one turn. Those allies lose three health. Yeah. That bleed, though. I think my divining rod is going crazy. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that was just because I put something away in my 
thing there. I think I want this door. Yeah, oh, main character is dead. Oh. It's too cold for her. She froze. Well, okay, this is what happens. My head. You're awake. My name is Nirvir. <laughs> My name is Nirvir. I'm the doctor that's been tending you. Where am I? You're at the Silvani Healing Hall. Your companion brought you back from the field. You've been out cold for days. <laughs> out cold. You get it? Because of, cause of, cause of the cold. I can't believe it. Your friend awaits you in the Lost Lady Inn. Sorry, I cannot afford it. Distractions while patients are under my care. More importantly, how do you feel now? I think I'm okay. I can't remember much considering the injuries. You feel remarkably well. Our hedge magic usually doesn't work this quickly. Strange. Indeed, I've deduced that something else is at work here. It may have something to do with that peculiar van brace I was unable to remove from your arm. In any case, do what you will with that information. You're free to go now. Do not keep your companion waiting too long. Just be warm, lol. Does that mean my party's dead? No, they're all still alive. And looking fine. I was the only one. Alright. Cool. That's where I'm going to call it for this. This was just a uh, a quick look at uh, what this game was going to be. Yeah, this was given to me as a code to check out. This is called Vambrae's Cold Soul. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4, but it's out on other stuff. And uh, yeah, neat. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's very darkest dungeony for sure. They also here, let me see something here. We'll go through this together. They also sent me a PDF which is like an adventurer's guide or something which I thought was super cool. Take a look at that. As you can maybe tell, I'm just putting off playing Eagle Island a little bit longer. All right. Oh, you know what? I should do browser, actually. Actually, I should log in first and then do that. Oh. Okay, Van Brace. Forty forty page player's guide. Give you the full screen here. So this is what they included with me for me. Um with the code. So let's take a look here, shall we? I think this is neat, kind of neat looking here. Actually, it was better this way. 
Welcome, intrepid adventurer. Van Race Cold Soul is a love letter to JRPGs, narrative-driven visual novels, and roguelike dungeon crawlers like Dark Souls and FTL. Dark Souls? Eh. Beware. Lyric's journey uh, is unapologetically punishing. I think they meant Darkest Dungeon, to be honest with you. We prepared this document to give you a leg up on the challenges that await. You will find 10 helpful tips and plenty of eye candy within. Consider this mini book a token of our appreciation for your incredible support. They made the same mistake I did. Hero profile. Meet the heroine. You are Evelia. Evelia? Evelia? Lyric, an adventurous hailing from the human realm of Edina. You are called you are called home to attend your father's funeral. You're beckoned to the city of Eisner to uncover the mysterious circumstances of his death after inheriting his codex and an ancient relic. The city has been cursed by an eldritch spell. Its survivors have taken refuge deep underground. You are now their last and best hope against the entity who controls this curse, the King of Shades. But you're woefully outmatched, and survival is not guaranteed. The Aether Brace You bear the Aether Brace, an enchanted Vambrace of unknown origin. Its strange powers allow you to bypass the frost fell surrounding Ice Nair and dispel the Green Flame's Eldritch magic with ease. You are the only one in Ice Nair with these powers. I really like these like arts books and stuff. I really like that they basically included a like game manual for this, right? I think that's neat. I really like this. Denny Garb, your mountaineering gear reinforces back and arm support for the rigors of long expeditions. It's light mithrum steel provide uh provide its Added protection for close quarters combat. The Edeni weave yields superior resistance against the elements. That's super cool. So that's her like mountaineering gear slash armor. God, I love this shit. I'm sorry, I'm not like Sean in that I think, oh, concept art sucks. I fucking love concept art and stuff like this. So, excuse me while I just kind of read all this and nerd out a little bit. Wait, the mountain axe and is like mixed with the crossbow? That seems like it wouldn't work very well, but okay. So it like clicks out to become a crossbow mode. Crossbow mode, yeah. Otherwise it's a mountain axe. That's really fucking neat. That's really neat. It's it's like, this is the type of thing you would build for a prop for a video game or a movie. But like, this would never work properly in real life as either a crossbow because of the tension here would just like snap it shut all the time. And like you would probably break it as a mountain axe using it as such. But holy shit, this is super cool. The Alpin Bow. The Alpin Bow is a unique device for of your father's design. It was often employed by him on lawn expeditions. Its modular design allows you to use it as a mountain axe slash melee weapon and crossbow. The perfect versatility for any engagement. Tip number one, return to Dale Ark to complete subquests. Oh, hello. Explore the waste and style. When you revisit Dale Arc, you will find a variety of subquests. They are only available for a limited time, usually for the duration of that particular chapter. If you're having a tough time with Chapter's Expedition, catch a breather and explore Dale Arc for these hidden quests. Completing them will yield big rewards. Try to collect all the game's costumes. There are 26! This cat one, though. Dale Arc City. Oh, man. There's a little map of it. 
I'm actually pretty stoked on this game right now. I'm not even going to lie. Tip two, rest, store loot, equip skins at the Lost Lady Inn. Oh, there's my girl. Look at her. The Lost Lady Inn. The Lost Lady Inn was established by Helga, a former dwarven shield maiden. It soon became the gathering place of choice within scav uh, within for scavengers, merchants, and warriors returning from difficult surface runs. That crest is fucking dope. Holy shit, that's cool. As you progress through the game, your room at the Lost Lady will upgrade. Helga will also deliver any packages you receive to your room. Check back periodically. Make sure to use... Be sure to use rest up and heal. To use rest up. To use rest up and heal your wounds. Kind of some weird English there. You can offload any loot you've collected in your chest to use for crafting later. Oh, I fucking love her. Tip three, stock up on supplies before departing. This is probably super good. Super good advice. The North Venture Company market. The market trades in various wares, paper currency called Hellion. The viability of your mission absolutely depends on being well supplied. Purchase useful relics. Diversify your items to handle difficulties that present themselves. So we have Ye Soul, Foxier Merchant of the... Or I guess Foxier, but I don't like doing the French term, so Foxier is funnier. Gerard the Wraith Merchant. Boost your merchantry stat to benefit from better prices and wider item selection before talking to merchants. Supplying yourself in Dale Arc will is usually cheaper, while items on the surface will command higher prices. Meet your companions. Okay, cool. The Dragoon, an experienced fighter hardened by dangerous expeditions throughout the realm, great at tanking and porting. Faction, the Guardians, class type, tank, weapon, bastard sword, and kite shield. Flourish, taunt, deal one true damage to three long-range targets and attract them to the caster. That target receives combat minus one for one turn. You think this is enough anime for you? You've been lurking? I really, I really, really hate that I lost my Dragoon. I really hate that. Spencer, a saboteur who excels at reconnaissance missions behind enemy lines, great at looting and scouting. Faction the Guardians, class type Rogue, flying daggers and flashbangs are the weapon. Flashbang deal two true damage to one long range target. That target receives stun status. A sorcerer is capable of unleashing powerful magic to, devastating, to devastate enemy ranks, great at combat and motivated explorer. Faction Naziri. Class type mage, blood magic, soul burst, two target allies receive bloodlust status, combat plus three for one turn, those allies lose three health. And Shadow Mancer, a seasoned assassin, skilled in the arts of reconnaissance, use of deadly toxins, great at avoiding traps and stacking damage. Uh, twin sickle, short daggers, poison bombs. All enemies receive bladed status. Targets suffer minus one health per turn for four turns. Pretty good. An Arcaster. A master of the bow and arrow with a pension for smooth talking. Great at haggling and spread damage. Yeah. Spread shot is dope. Scoundrel seems like it would be kind of good. Excellent thief with an uncanny ability to get out of tight situations. Great at looting and buffing combatants. North Venture Company, Rogue, Silver Claws, Weapon. Predatory Roar heals self plus two. Health receives bloodlust at status. Combat plus two for two turns. Okay. Hedge Mage. Okay, we've seen both of these. We have the Hedge Mage currently. Uh, great at healing allies. Healing Light, heal one ally, plus three health. That ally gains plus one health per turn for two turns. So, oh, they have a mistake here. Celestine, Celestine, 
a hedge warrior that uses a power of light to blaze a trail through the darkness. Great at casting protective spells. Um, two target allies receive barrier status. Any damage received is reduced by three for two turns. Uh, I don't love it. I don't love that one. Fusilier, Fusilier. Oh, we haven't seen a Berserker yet. A marksman with a devastatingly powerful weapon, few have ever seen. So Rangers. Crown Loyalists, aka Dwarves. Mighty Blast, deal six true damage to one mid-range target. That's the Shotgun Blast. Tank with Battle Axes, Rage, gain plus 10 health. Combat what plus one per turn for three turns. Health minus two per turn for three turns. Man. This booklet is cool though. This is this is darkest dungeon like, yeah. Oh my god, that art. That art is so good. Give them hell. Make sure every party member is equipped with relics that either buff weaknesses or maximize strength. Position characters based on their range and health. Choose class combos that complement what you plan to do on the expedition. If your comrades die, they're gone for good along with any items they have equipped. Make sure you anticipate these situations and cycle weakened allies into safer positions towards the rear. As you progress, the pool of recruits you can choose from will increase. Try these combinations. All arounders. Oh, they have, like, setups to maybe try out. This balanced team can take on just about anything with plenty of short long, short and long-range attacks. Uh, it has great options for scouting and maximizing Overwatch while camping. Also fantastic at scrounging loot. The team may suffer in combat encounters with multi-ranged enemy teams, though, since it heavily depends on the Arcaster's reach. Holy shit, this is what we had. Basically. I have the R-caster. Lyric is, has to be in all of them because she's the main character. And the Dragoon. What is this? Hedge Mage, which I have. Lyric, which I have. Scoundrel and Celestine. Celestine? Darkest Dungeon with better art and more tits. It has mixed reviews. I'm going to take a look at them in a second. This here looks like a party I can get behind. I like how they changed what outfit um, Lyric is wearing to match with the like party garb a little bit. Blood Mage, Lyric, Berserker, and Dragoon sounds like my type of party. This team can dish out punishment. The Blood Mage's buffs and ability to strike enemies from any range make her a strong threat, while the Berserker deals wreaks havoc with melee damage. This combination's success depends on finishing fights quickly, though, as it is low in overall health. The Stackers. Look at these Shadow Mancers. Two Shadow Mancers, a Dragoon, and Lyric. Make tactical retreats. It's a good tip. There's no shame in running. I've done that a few times already. I mean, I don't blame them I'm trying to bring her down. Look at that. Beware the ghost fog. Learn the city and neighborhood maps. The entertainment district. The Entertainment District is located in the northern quarter of Eisnair. Unlike most dwarven cities, which are stifling, rigid, and homogenous, Eisnair prospered greatly from its laissez-faire policies and open nature. As the years passed, this burgeoning quarter served to satisfy all manner of vices for the city's diverse populace. Although it is now in complete ruin, not all is lost. The Ghost Bazaar, a vibrant trading hub, is open for business. The spooks there are even willing to deal with the living who bring hell money to the table. So, I've gotten to basically, like, here, essentially. 
like this path. Not even close to probably where I need to be. The residential district, we haven't seen this yet at all. The residential district is located in the southern quarter of Eisner. The ward once boasted thriving estates and commercial services catering to the needs of its local residents. Slums developed in certain areas of this district as a result of an influx of economic migrants. Dwarves, many of whom were significantly more affluent than their migrant counterparts, tended to live in other quarters of the city. This area was the site of the bloodiest fighting during the incident, and its uh, ruins are a haunting reminder of the carnage that took place. And the industrial district. This is cool looking, this district. Western quarter of Eisner city was technological marvel, far, far outclassing its contemporaries. The innovations and practical work needed to maintain such a vasma took place here. Cutting edge factories loom large in maintenance. Golems go about their daily routines unimpeded. Access to most of this area was off limits to average citizens to prevent accidents and safeguard sensitive information. The city's heart, the great N Niblung, Nibelung furnace continues to pump steam through Eisner. The temple district. Oh, that's the final district. Hmm. Can you buy a physical copy of this manual? I don't know. You might be able to, like, print this. It has, like, the print lines, right, of where, like, you would fold it in half and stuff. Bolsung's workshop. Man, I want this outfit. Where do I get this outfit for her? Upgrade your skills wisely. I haven't even gotten to the point where I can upgrade my damn skills. Belly is the only character who can upgrade her skills, however, she has a limited number of points to distribute. Once spent, you won't be able to undo it. Consider what type of team combinations you'll be playing with and what role she'll have in their company. This is really cool. Man. Why doesn't every game company do up, like, a player manual? to send with their keys. This is a type of thing that like you would after buying your game, you would like read this in the back seat uh on the way back home after like shopping has been done and you it would like get you stoked as to like the game you're about to play. You know?